I know what you're thinking. Erlia, didn't you just make this video? Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Erlia, otherwise known as Marcy Chick, and in today's video I have another top 10 brands of jeans that sell well on Poshmark with a twist. These are all of the bread and butter low-end jeans that you can sell super duper quickly if you price them correctly on Poshmark. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell right next to it to join our family and be updated whenever I post a new video. I post weekly. And also, before we get started here, just to make me happy, please hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot when trying to rank in search and also just boosts my channel a lot as well. So if you enjoy this video, be sure to like it, but we're going to get into these brands right now. So like I said, the last video that I made on jeans was more of a bolo list brand, but I realized like this would not have been helpful to me when I was thrifting in my more rural community like I was when I first started. So I know a lot of you guys might not have access to these sort of brands if you don't live in like a really ritzy area. So if you guys are just starting or if you're trying out different brands and you know you can't find a lot when you're first starting, no worries. We're going to go over the top 10 brands of jeans that you can start flipping now really, really fast. I would actually really suggest before you guys even pick these up at your local thrift store that you check out your local Goodwill outlets because you can usually pick them up for around $2 an item, which is so helpful just because if you are going to be flipping them for faster and low prices, you want to make sure that you also have the least amount of money invested. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. Here are the 10 brands that you need to know. All right, let's make this video a little more casual. I have my list with me today, so I'm just gonna be talking to you guys kind of one-on-one -on -one a little bit. I wanna mix up the background just because I wanna be comfy, but this first brand here is one that I've mentioned a ton of times, and that is Levi's. I will say, if you are sourcing in a more rural area, or if you really can't find a lot, you usually still can find Levi's. I would suggest the 501s, of course, obviously, all the time, 501s, but I would also suggest the 505s in the vintage style in a light wash, and I would also suggest the vintage orange tabs no matter what kind of style or condition. You can always upcycle Levi's jeans. So if you find a pair that are kind of dirty on the bottom and you can't get the stains out, make them cut off shorts, they'll still go. The orange tabs especially do have a more lucrative price scale, so just be sure that you're checking comps before then, but I think that these are the best ones for bread and butter. You can usually sell these for around $25, but I know that I've sold the orange tabs for up to 45, so up to you on how you wanna price those, but I would always suggest picking up these styles. The second brand here is Zara. Now, Zara is a little bit hit or miss. All of these brands are going to be a little bit hit or miss, but I would suggest the trendier styles from Zara, anything embroidered, straight leg, mom jeans, high waist, that sort of thing. Um, they usually do also sell around $20 to $25, so again, as long as they're in style, I would suggest picking them up. Usually their items are pretty cute, but it's just because the items are priced so cheaply that the resale value really isn't there. If you can still find them, however, I do think that they are a good find and a good bread and butter pickup. But like I said, just be sure to really watch the trends that you're picking up in the Zara pieces. I know that the skinny jeans and low rise jeans right now really aren't hot. So if you're going to pick up a few of those, I don't think that they're going to sell that fast. But if you pick up the trendier pieces, of course, they will sell pretty fast. The third brand here is one that I actually have not sold myself, but when I was looking at comps and things that have sold pretty fast within the past few days, I noticed a trend with democracy jeans. Democracy jeans are pretty popular right now if you are pricing them accordingly, again, to the $20 to $25 mark. These in the blue jean styles especially go pretty fast on Poshmark. The fourth brand here is one that I know and love, and that is Torrid. I actually find a lot of my Torrid pieces in the bins, so if you find Torrid pants, the blouses are kind of hit or miss, the pants and jeans are especially great. I know that these can consistently sell for me for $25, so whenever I do find them and they're in pretty good condition, I pick them up when they're at the outlet. So I would definitely suggest for you guys to do the same. If you're only paying $2 a pair and they sell pretty fast, it's an easy flip and it's an easy way to get your return on your money. The fifth one here is something that I would consider a fast fashion brand, but really before I say this brand, please just know that it is very oversaturated and I mentioned before that I no longer source these pieces, but I've made a few exceptions since then. It is Old Navy. I will say that their Rockstar skinny jeans go pretty fast and pretty well, again, if you're pricing them accordingly. I found some of their pieces that are new with tags and I've sold them fairly quickly. 
But just by checking comps and making sure that the market isn't oversaturated for that piece is so important to making sure that the Old Navy piece will sell. Alright guys, we are in the middle of the video now. We only have five more brands left, so if you liked the ones that I've mentioned so far, be sure to hit the little like button down below to support my channel. Let's keep going. The next brand here is one that used to be really popular, and it is True Religion. I remember when I was first getting started reselling, I had found a pair of their jeans, and I would actually sold them for a pretty decent amount at the time, uh, but now so they're just so oversaturated, and they're kind of like a faded out brand. So I do think that they're still worth mentioning, however, just because I've seen a lot of them in the recent solds on Poshmark, and they're selling around that $20 mark as well. So I still think that their blue jean styles are great finds, and if you do find some of the newer styles as well, that's great. I still think that they'll sell. Um, but just make sure that you're not overpaying for these. I know a lot of thrift stores still think that they're worth a lot. Um, if you go to your local buy, sell, trade store, or even just like a higher end thrift store, they'll mark them up to like $20, and I'm like, in person, I don't think that you should ever pay that. If anything, $2 max. I wouldn't buy these at your regular thrift store if you're only flipping them for $20. And the only reason I say it's absurd to have them $20 in a physical market is because there's only so many people that come in. So I think that the competition online is better to price the item higher, but in person, I don't. So if you find them for that amount, um, I wouldn't suggest picking them up, but at the bins, I absolutely would. The seventh brand here is one that I love, and that is Wrangler. These are the Western style blue jeans. These are great for people that work in a physical work setting. Um, the ones that I would suggest that you guys pick up, I pick up a lot at the bins, and they are the women's sizes with the embroidered W's on the back. I'll insert like a little bit of a photo of what I mean here because I've sold a few of them. And they consistently sell for me for $25. So if you guys find any of these, I think they're really great. You can also upcycle them. You can add distressing. Or if you want to add patches or something like that, you absolutely can. And they'll sell pretty fast. I think that they're just really fun. And I do like the Western trend. So when I usually find these in the smaller styles, I would say from anywhere from a size like 24 to a 32, they go really fast. Anything bigger than that are usually the men's sizes, which, yes, they will sell. But they might sit for a little bit longer. The eighth one I'm kind of upset about just because their jeans are expensive in person. And also, I know I've had a few pairs of their jeans in my personal Poshmark closet when I was first getting started, and they really didn't move that well. But they are consistent sellers if you're pricing them accordingly. I think that I thought that they were worth more than this. So at the beginning of my reselling journey, I really thought I was like oh these are like worth $40 but they're not they're just American Eagle jeans and these in the mom styles or the more relevant trendy styles right now are really really hot so if you're finding them in the blue jean colors definitely pick those up the ninth brand is also a hit or miss for me and that is a lucky brand you guys know I have almost completely stopped picking up lucky brand every now and then I'll pick up one of their t-shirts as a bread and butter item but for the jeans I really don't unless they're like new with tags or high-waisted relevant styles absolutely do not for the love of goodness pick up the lolita crop jeans or the lolita skinny jeans they are not popular super oversaturated on poshmark so don't pick those ones up but i recently picked up i think the ava skinny jean which again skinny jeans aren't really popular right now but they have a high waist and they're also a button fly so that does make a difference they're a light wash they're kind of more trendy right now so I felt good about picking those up. Also, there were no tags, so. But I felt good about picking those ones up. But anything that is super trendy right now from them, I would pick up um, as long as it's at a reasonable price. And the last brand here that I wanted to mention today actually is one that I have in my closet. has a ton of likes right now. Honestly, I should lower the price of it just to see if it sells after this video. But it is PacSun. I recently bought a pair of their jeans in a black color, but they have embroidered flowers all over them, so they're super duper cute and have a ton of attention right now. So after watching this and going over all of these brands, I think I'm going to go and lower the item. But PacSun is actually super popular. Um, it is a fast fashion brand, I will say, so they do overproduce. But if you're finding rarer pieces from them, say like mine with the embroidery on them or something with embellishments or something like really Really fun I think that it definitely has a great chance of selling fast so if you guys like today's video please be sure to give me a little thumbs up down below and make sure that you are subscribed I would love to see you back here next time I will see you guys in the next one bye